Hey guys, how you doing? It's Cryptic here, bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Saturday. And today I want to go over um, desktop support. What, what are you going to do in desktop support, like the job description and stuff like that? So we're going to go on Indeed and LinkedIn and look at desktop support rules. Obviously, if you're new to know what to do, rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. So the reason why I'm going over this is because sometimes um, I want to make this video because I want to refer it back to, to somebody. that Because I always get comments on my, on my channel like, Oh, what's the difference between IT support and help desk? What's the difference between help desk and desktop support? Like, and then I, my answer is always the same. It's like, oh, look at the job description because you could be called help desk and all you do is password reset all day. I had a, I literally had a friend, and I'm not gonna put him on blast, but I literally had a friend that is from another state in, like near near New York, and all he did was password reset all day, and they call him help desk, help desk analyst too, or something like that. So. Again, it really depends on the company. It really depends on on uh, the the job description in the company. So let me share my screen. We're gonna go over a couple of jobs, and then we'll call it a day after that. And uh, my next couple of videos are gonna be more technical videos, but I just want to go over this because I have a video I could refer to uh, to people if that makes sense. All right. So let me share my screen. Screen one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Indeed.com, and it opened up on it opened up on the wrong um wrong tab on the wrong uh, window but it's all it's all it's totally it's totally all fine and dandy over here give me a second so we're going to type desktop support so i'm going to go here and you should see my screen now there we go and then what we're going to do is it's like how i do it i go by dates posted seven days ago uh, there's no zip code or anything and then we're going to go to experience level we're just going to get alone I'm going to go to full time and then me like this is the pay. So like, see, as you can see, desktop support, the average pay is 40 K. If you have no experience, like typically they're going to ask for like eight plus and stuff like that. Me, I usually go to 50 K because that's what I want to make. If I, if I was brand new to IT, I would go to 50 K because the cost of living is expensive right now. So you should be aiming for a little bit more if, if that makes sense. So here we go. So IT operations analyst is New York. Let's see what they're asking for. Uh, we can't do that job. Uh, let's go to this one. This is New Jersey end user specialist. It's up to seventy five thousand. Let's see the experience. So they're asking for two years experience with Windows ten, Office three sixty five, and Mac OS X. Two years experience with tele telephone for desktop and mobile users. Two years experience with performing help desk tasks related with desktop, tablet, laptop, printer repair, uh, Active Directory, password reset, and account creations. So for someone that lives in New Jersey, look at the pay. The pay is freaking crazy. It's pretty good for, for a job like this. If you have one year or no one year to zero experience, I definitely recommend you apply to this job. If you live in New Jersey, let's go to another job. Let's go to Washington, DC, I guess. It's a senior support, so you gotta have experience in this one. Um let's go to a different one. Chilling a couple of jobs today. Uh, end user specialist. This is in, this is in Houston, Texas. This is bachelor's degree. Now again, this is what I talk about uh, when I do my coaching calls with people. Like some people tell me, "Oh, well, is a degree useless?" Or a degree is is a degree. You know, it's a it, it's a degree like not worth my time. And I tell everyone, like, if you have time, if you have money, do that. Do a degree. Do an associate's or bachelor's degree. If you don't have money, then go get go go to cert route. We get certifications. Like it really depends on your financial situation, if that makes sense. So my advice it's tailored differently towards different people. It really depends, right? So let's go to the job. This is five years. So you gotta have experience with this one, right? Advanced Windows 10, Mac OS X troubleshooting. They're asking for A plus network plus security plus certifications. This is a different one. Uh, next one, technical support engineer, eighty thousand. This is New York. All right, go to another one, support engineer. This is remote, actually. This is remote. So you see this one. Maybe this one, someone, someone that I know could do this one. Oh, I was asking for experience. Look at this experience. Technical support analyst. Uh, let's go to a different one. Technical support specialist three. Go to another one, help desk administrator. So this one is 
is asking for A+. Plus. Makes sense. Microsoft Certified Desktop Support Technician, the MCDST certification. Uh, I have to have familiarity with ticketing systems, ServiceNow, Zendesk. Look, know how to troubleshoot Mac and Windows. Makes sense. Yeah, so this is a contract help desk role. Again, you see bachelor's degrees right here. So like I said earlier before, like degrees are, are are valuable in the job market. It's just like you have to know how to combine it with your other experience and put it on the resume, if that makes sense. Here we go, desktop support engineer. All right, awesome. This is a new job, actually. Okay, all this stuff I know how to do. Um, let's see here. So Active Directory, Office 365, VPN, I know about that. Project deliverables, I know about that. Uh, Azure Cloud, I know about that. MDT is mobile device management. Uh, IT asset management, life cycle. Must have hands-on experience with over technical issues over the phone chat. I have all that. Um, so this is someone that has experience. Level three or other, other result teams in English. Um, eight hours, uh, email account. Is this, what is this, contracts? It's contract on it. Uh, this is eight hours. Uh, so you you got to live around over here, basically. All right. Uh, let's see. This is Connecticut. IT helped us. Again, you know, bachelor's degree is popping up again. See this? Uh, let's see. Computer science degree. See, or one year of experience like that. And one year of experience. It's pretty. Okay. But it's not really. This is more like. More like software engineer. Yeah. Uh, let's go to another one. Virginia. Technical support specialist. Okay. Like this. All right, provide on-site support from North Virginia, Washington, D.C., video conference support. Again, remember I talked about video conferences and I talked about that in another video. I have a whole video, a whole playlist, a whole two-hour and 30-minute video on me going over common issues in IT. I'm sure if you guys have ever seen that video, but it's two and a half hours long. It's actually one of my most viewed videos, and I go over this. I go over video conference rooms. Uh, in some rooms, they use polycoms. Some use Zoom rooms. Some use... Um, it really depends, like... Citrix, uh, Citrix, sorry, Citrix, I can't talk. Uh, Cisco, Cisco uh, DX40. Let me see if I can find it over here. Cisco DX40. Let's just show you what it is. Yeah, that one right there. Look, here we go. Uh, let's go to images because, yeah, so some rooms will have something like this. They'll have this like on on a uh, 240. It's pretty cheap, actually. So this is a DX80. There's several different ones. So some rooms will have this, and basically you put it in the in the office room, and then you're able to communicate with somebody in the office room. So yeah, that that's basically what it is. So you'll see this in some some offices and some conference rooms. They'll have something like this. A small room will have something like this, and you have a video call with the customer, which uh, is very interesting actually. Uh, this is a uh, point of contact for IT engineer. So basically, you're going to be the one escalated to do everything. Uh, that makes sense. There's another one in New Jersey. Look at this. Old time Monday to Friday, you're gonna be expected to be on call, and that and that that's a real that's a thing. Like when you do IT support, or you do help desk or desktop support, you will be expected to be on call, unless for some reason you don't want to be on call. <laughs> you will be expected to be on call. I'm just saying, this is like experience level one, two, three, four, five. So customer service. This is this is again like people always don't listen to me. Well, I mean, hopefully this you know hopefully this doesn't trigger anybody, but again. This is why I talk about customer service experience. Again, I talk about customer service experience. You have one year in restaurant. You could be a construction worker for all I care. It could be whatever, right? In customer service, right? You have one year of experience. You could tailor that for a job in IT. This is a job. This is a perfect job for someone that has a customer service background that has no experience. I would apply to this job if I live in New Jersey. So it says one to two years or three years or four years. It says... Prefer one year of customer service experience. And they're paying 40K. 40,000 to 60,000. Me, if I was new, I would do a home lab, learn Office 365, Active Directory, all that good stuff, right? Learn about Windows, learn about Mac on my own, put that experience on my resume, apply for this job, and ask for 50K. 50,000 if that was, if it was me starting out all over again. That's just my advice for people that are watching this today. All right? So let's go to the next one. Uh, help desk specialist. All right, let's go to this one. This is five years of experience. 
Like, if you're going to ask for five years of experience, you better be paying me at least $90,000 or more. You know, like, I'm not sure what to pay is for this role. This is two years prefer. Like, I don't know about that. There's no pay on it. I don't like I don't like jobs like this. You got to give me the pay. I want to know how much you're paying. So I would I would probably either skip that job or ask how much they're paying. That's just that's just how I am as a person. I like to know how much they're paying. Don't don't hide the salary. Don't hide the salary and don't say competitive competitive salary when the when the pay is 40k. Don't do that. <laughs> you guys know what I mean. So all right. 14 paid holidays. That's not bad. That's pretty good. All right, we're gonna go to the next one. You know what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go on LinkedIn and then go over desktop support roles on LinkedIn and call it a day after that because I already went over a couple of jobs in Indeed. You guys seen the look at all the notifications I have by the way. Look at this. This is crazy. All right, so I'll go over that later, but let me go over this real quick. So let's put desktop support. Um, let's do past week. And let's see what they're asking for. This is going to be very interesting. So help us, help us to specialists. Okay, two to four years of experience, server-based, complex Office 365. Remember, I told you about Office, Office 365 is everywhere. That's universal, you know. Um, desktop support specialists. Look at this. This is perfect for someone from Illinois. They have no experience. Like one year of IT support experience. Like, I have videos on Active Directory. Intune, you can learn. You can create. You can create an account on Microsoft Azure for free. Exchange. I have a video on that. You ever experienced troubleshooting Office? And this is this is easy. This is easy stuff, guys. You know, there's like, look, I'm gonna go to Outlook, right? Let me open Outlook. Outlook. You guys already know my email address. Look, someone someone calls you today, right? Like, I'm, I'll give you a real life example. Let me go to add-ins, right? See how this have all these add-ins here? Look at this. I'm going to show you right now real quick. Like, oh, man, this is easy. Zoom, download, watch. You get calls like this every day, right? So I'm going to download this. I'm going to close this bad boy up, right? Just to show you real quick before we call it a day, right? Let me show you real quick how easy these tickets are. Like You'll get tickets like this every day, right? It's not, it's not rocket science. Just letting you know right now, okay? So we're going to open up Outlook again. You should see Zoom add-in over here. Look, Zoom add-in is right here. And you'll get calls about this. Oh, my add-in is missing. I don't know what to do, Kevin. Like, you do this. Look, I'll show you real quick. Zoom add-in, hit OK. Now it's completely gone, right? And then you they're trying to go to their calendar. They're trying to book a call. And Zoom's not anywhere to be found. So you get calls like, oh, Kevin, my Outlook's not working. My Zoom's not working. Can you please troubleshoot it for me? Like, I got you. So then you have the two options. You either have control panel, right? You either run a repair, you uninstall it, reinstall it, or you uncheck and recheck it. Like, it's so easy. This is not rocket science. Your add-ins, com, com add-ins, right? Look for Zoom. And I'm gonna do I'm gonna go very slow because you guys are probably like, oh, you're going too fast. So I'm going to file only the options. And then here are here you go to add-ins because add-ins are where what what forces what causes the plugins to show up on the top left hand side, right? You go to com add-ins. You see zoom out outlook plugin. I unchecked it before. You recheck it again, it should show up again. Now it's there. So now if I make a new meeting, so start a start a meet, schedule a meeting, right? So now if I if I create a new meeting here. You can actually create meetings in here. So add a Zoom meeting, right? Right? So that's me to sign in. But the Zoom, the Zoom add-in works. So just showing you guys, like this is not rocket science. So I'm gonna go and close out of this. We're gonna go back to this. So they're asking for experience troubleshooting add-ins. And it's the same thing with Excel, you know, I'm gonna open up Excel, right? I'm gonna open up my, my Excel looks weird because I just reinstalled everything. But it's Excel, right? And then you go to options, add-ins, right? And go add in and the add-ins are right there. It's the same, it's the same thing. It's not rocket science, right? So let's go to the next row. But not you guys understand what I'm talking about. This is not complicated. So 
We're going to look at two more rows and we'll call it a day after that. So I'm going to look for another row. This is Austin, Texas, right? Two years of troubleshooting Mac and Windows, two years of IT management, ticketing, tracking system. You can learn like service now for free. So this is about help desk, right? Two years of experience, Office 365, Google Cloud, Active Directory. Nothing out of the ordinary, right, guys? So um, yeah, and that's it for me. Let me go and let me go to my go here. Give me a second. Yeah, and that that's it for me, guys. Like, like I have, I'm still sharing my screen. Like, if you want to do a call with me, you always can call Google call with me. You want to do training with me, you can. Uh, you want to do a home lab together with me for two hours? You can. You know, you, my my calendar is always open for training. So like, I know some people are some people prefer private training for me. I have that, and I'll show you what I'm working on right now before I end this video because you guys are you guys uh, some people were asking me about it and I made a post about it. So right now I'm working on. I may have to log in again actually. Yeah, it kicked me out for some reason. So right now, let me log in real quick. I'll show you real quick. You guys are like, oh, wow, that's cool. So right now, this is not done yet, but I'm going to just show you. So right now I'm working on this course right now. It's called the IT Support Fundamentals. This is a preview of it. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share my, I'm going to share my tab over here. And then I'm working on I'm gonna preview. Then I'm working on, Kat is working on a course for um, entry level of pen testing. And then I'm going to make some free courses so you guys don't got to pay anything. Similar to like David Bumble and Network Chuck and, and, other, and uh, Mike Myers and Professor Messer and all these other course creators. I'm going to give you some free options and free training you could take on my platform. So you're well-rounded and you're you're good to go in the job market. You don't got to pay anything. I just want you to just watch my videos. And that's it. And it's going to be ad free. All right. So that's it for me. I'm going to stop sharing. That's it for me. So that's an overview of desktop support jobs, IT support, help desk jobs. You, know, you can call it whatever you want. At the end of the day, I look based on the job description. But it's not complicated. Like people put think it's super duper complicated. It's not. Basically, you're dealing with phone calls. You're dealing with customers. You're troubleshooting their issues. And that's it. Nothing out of the ordinary. Anyway, with that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And take care. Peace. Bye.